Hi, everybody. Welcome to Bar Frida in Ridgewood, Queens. We uh -huh. are live with Eugene Hutz from Gogo Bordello. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. It's always great to see you. We had a, a great time at Illegal Mezcal in Greenpoint not so very long ago. Now yeah. here we are in Ridgewood. And uh, thank you for taking the time out of a show day. I know you guys were just in Philly. Now you're here. There are many shows coming up in the near future. So thank you for spending your time with us here today. Yeah, of course. It's kind of uh, cool because we're playing you know, in Brooklyn Bowl today. So it's all yeah. in the neighborhood. Yeah. Yeah. 3.7 miles or six kilometers from here, I have come to find out. Yeah. <laughs> Still, it's uh, you know, almost in the same neighborhood. It's the same hemisphere. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's certainly culturally the same hemisphere. Um, man, thank you again for being here. What do you want to start out with first today? Um, anything, you know. We were off to a good start in Philly. Philly totally represented yesterday. Crowd pretty much killed it. And, uh, I mean, I don't see why they wouldn't. We've been with them for a long time. And uh, especially there is, uh, you know, a lot of... Uh, a lot of uh, kind of people that maybe were, we were on their peripheral kind of like, you know, knowledge, but they're coming out of the woodwork because th there's a lot of Ukrainians in Philly, you know. And um, it, that, that kind of crowd joined in and, you know, represented as well. So it was great, but in tonight in Brooklyn, yeah. I'm going to... I'm gonna just start with uh, what uh, you know. What's there on a on a on a bubbled up top? Where are you now, my compañera? Your baby claw stuck in my chest. Where are you now, my sonidera? Hoto kill from the nest. We stepped together in this river. We traded fever for turmoil. Last time I saw you was in the middle. So did you ever reach that soil? Where are you now, my compañera? Your baby claw stuck in my chest. Where are you now, my solidera? Who took you from the nest? Where are you now, my compañera? I'm eating bricks from town to town. Where are you now, my solidera? I'm at my final down. Yeah. My final down. Like through the muzzle came my surrender. I had to tear it off my mind. Then hypothermia to Kova. And suddenly I just went blind. Where are you now, my compañera? Your baby claw stuck in my chest. Where are you now, my solidera? Who took you from the nest? Where are you now, my compañera? I'm in bricks from town to town. Where are you now, my solidera? I'm at my final down. Yeah. I'm at my final down. Yeah. Eat and sleep without desire. What do you like when the war aisle? Oh, Miss Sky, you ever see a warrior that's more fragile? Just like hangover, malnutrition, you can't fly in this condition. And if no one intervenes, I don't know when the hell is a mission. Now, my compañera, your baby claw stuck in my chest. Where are you now, my solidera? What took you from the nest? Where are you now, my compañera? I'm in embrace from a town to town. Where are you now, my solidera? I'm at my final down. Yeah. Yeah. 
Thank you. Yeah. Cheers to you, Eugene. It's always fun to have you in, man. We appreciate it. Yeah, man. Um, we so you said the Ukrainian community came out in in Philly. Um, is that do you expect that to be the case in Brooklyn as well? I mean, I saw some of the booking. Like we got to do a session with Balaclava Blues up yeah, in Canada. Yeah, awesome. Not that yeah, great. Ago. They're playing with I us. I saw yeah. the DJ as well. So it's Ukrainian leaning, obviously uh, New yeah. Year's Eve weekend. Um, do you do you imagine that the Ukrainians come out uh, here in Brooklyn? They will. Um, you know, it's just, you know, it's a very complex community. It's not like a one thing, you know. Uh, there's many different pockets of Ukrainian kind of awareness. There is more, uh, you know, more youth organi organizations. There's old school. They all come together in uh, particular places and, you know, summer camps and, and all, all kind of occasions. But, you know, it's been interesting because... You know, you know, what we play is a very cosmopolitan kind of music. It's a very New York uh, band at, at the end of the day. It's like, it's kind of cosmopolitan with a, a great awareness of your roots. You know, that's like the really proper way to put it. So it's not like we, um, we always told the, you know, I kind of made a point of telling the Ukrainian story of Gogol being the Ukrainian uh cultural figure and a writer I always made a point of t telling that story authentically that it is a Ukrainian writer it's not a Russian writer as they in Moscow love to claim it's a absolute disinformation and um, in the same time hard times like this they, they they bring all these pockets various pockets of Ukrainian scene together you know so you see some a lot of people who we were just kind of in their peripheral understanding that okay we're from that neck of the woods but now they're more active you know i mean all ukrainians are a lot more active now well i feel like i mean that that band in particular balaclava blues i feel like does what you're talking about that cosmopolitan mix yeah but also being aware of roots they do that really well with that traditional ukrainian totally. chant with edm mixed into it i mean those totally. are not two things that you think about in the same thought but they they weave them together very well yeah to me that's kind of um that's aesthetically and artistically that's like really the way to go you know you you um they do have like influences from you know um, like kind of portis heady and you know maybe more like early uh earlier susanna vega like that whole 99 fahrenheit degrees when it whole like industrial folk kind of idea you know uh it was i was pretty impressed with with the, with the synthesis that they they came up with you know i'm all for that kind of cross pollinations and uh, that that's what helps the tradition to survive because it it makes it super relevant and yeah in the same time it's not too traditional you know I mean, it's, it's I mean, word folk is uh, it's problematic you know it's like <laughs> you know, it's kind of like so re it never really serves the the full purpose you know it's kind of like when you call something folk if you really know if you're like in the field and you're you know you're into woody guthrie and if you're going that far back, then it makes all sense. Okay, folk is awesome. But if you're just kind of like walking in into a field of music and you hear word folk, it's like, oh, this might be something so archaic. Like, that's not for me. So it's important to mix it up all the time. Yeah. Yeah, it's one of the my most favorite T-shirts that I have was a thing Steve Earle said when he was recording at a studio in Austin. And it's, on the, it's Arlen Studios on the front. The back says hip hop is folk music too. And that's that's what he meant. Yeah, so storytelling is storytelling, and you know, if if Woody Guthrie were making music right now, it's entirely totally. possible that hip hop would have been the form that he chose, because you know, it's it's protest music one way or the other, and it's storytelling one way or the other. It's all it's all in, in a similar vein. This uh, this is awesome that you're bringing it up because we can extend that. And I mean, hardcore music is folk music. You know, if if we're talking like more uh, 360 awareness of all musics and how they come together you know of course uh, punk rock and hardcore music is essentially uh, folk music of of the you know large industrial cities where people are fighting alienation by recreating um 
the primal dance around the fire. I mean, just like look at any uh, punk rock or hardcore documentary. It's so obvious. It's almost to me like more, it's more, it's like an anthropological study, you know? It's just like you see people coming out of their tiny caves and just like, okay, fuck this. We're gonna get, uh, we're gonna get back to the primal, primal feeling of community, you know? And, um, and especially if you look a little bit deeper into um, particularly punk rock and hardcore songwriting, you, you will see those traits very prominent there. You know, it's very, uh, it cuts through the chase. It's, uh, as Woody Guthrie was saying, you know, it's like if you play more than three chords and you're showing off, you know. <laughs> yeah. So, so, um, so, of course, punk is a very vast, uh, you know, playground and a lot of people that went way beyond three chords and made their way back but uh you know what i'm saying it's still dancing around that primal fire of like conjuring up like collective collective uh you know subconscious dream for for the freedom you know yeah yeah well do you feel did we just segue perfectly into the second song today are we going to dance around the fire next what do you feel like is bubbling up for you right now um no uh since you brought up like a hip-hop um you know connection it, it's 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 great because in ukraine there's a this uh, folkloric genre called kolomekas which is essentially folkloric hip-hop and um it's kind of like improv it's improvised raps uh, on a on a current given situation of where, where we're at and um i'm gonna uh, we have a few songs that are based around that. Um, take from that tradition, you know, and mixing it up. So here, here's one of them. Повернемо кордони Крим схід країни, ми повернемо кордони слава Україні! Та де сіне о на бою з на дере грається, а о на зелено моде гоно дивно потихається. Сулинка у зеленій лузі, як же москалями швидці в Радянській Союзі. Перша справа нова кара, тридцять чубатів, на останніх ти колонами семелеватів. Бо ми повернемо кордони Криму з країни, ми повернемо кордони слава Україні! And that goes all night because, you know, if there is uh, hundreds of Ukrainians, they step in and get off their chest, whatever they think is necessary now. Yeah. yeah. The, the translation of that one, of, the, of those uh, four liners, they, they are, you know, that we will return the borders, we will return the Crimea yeah, to where it was, and uh, Ukraine is going to come together as, it, as the Lord makes it, you know. So Moscow can fuck off anytime, you know. Yeah, yeah, man. But well that's—I mean, I, what I, some of what I wanted to talk to you about, like, is your—is your head in terms of songwriting, in terms of performing in front of people? I mean, it must obviously—it's affected by what's happening in the world right now. Do you find that your um, that your head is completely with family and with people that are that are in Ukraine, friends and family that are over there doing the thing? I mean, is it? stopped any of the any of the creative process in terms of what you're doing has it fueled it more has it has it i mean in what way has what's happening in the world affected your music um it's gonna take like decades to process to this whole out. thing yeah, you know yeah, yeah. it's kind of um i mean it's it's a fucking tragedy you know or the, we are witnessing and it's only because of uh unexhaust inexhaustible uh, nature of Ukrainian people that there is uh, resistance and pushback 
and victory. You know, I mean, we already scraped them off the fucking our back pretty significantly, and it's gonna get done soon. And uh, of course, once world saw the, the the incredible resistance and the fight that Ukrainian people, um, you know, championed, you know, uh, you know, they they, they 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 earned worldwide respect instantly, and so everybody is game helping now more and more and more. But it was still through a very <laughs> insane effort and uh, and. Uh, inconceivable amount of hero heroism inconceivable for a lot of people around the world so you know being like directly connected to to that and um it, it's transformed my lifestyle completely for since since it's begun i mean the thing is that it didn't really begin for us on 24th of february it's been going on for eight years yeah. i mean i've been to ukraine and with talking to my friends who are been making shuttles to the front line, you know, bringing bringing help there for eight years. That's where Mark and Marishka met. Yes, on that exactly, front line, right? exactly. Yeah, yes, yes. Going back to Balaklava Blues story. Um, so this is not new if you're Ukrainian, and uh, if you go back a little bit into our, you know, every time I played like Brooklyn Steel or. Uh, um, you know, Terminal 5 or anything in the city or in the other cities where there is a huge Ukrainian community. We've been, um, you know, talking about that and play, playing playing that up. And, and since 2000, since the end of 2013, when, when the Maidan happened. Yeah. Because yeah, that was the, the last time that we crossed paths. It hap I just looked up the date. It was February 4th yeah. of last of, of this year. And you said something really interesting. You said uh, history is not done. You know, this stuff is not in the past. It's happening right now. But February 4th was so much different than February 24th. And then we had a video gig in Colorado. We got on the plane February 23rd. We landed and actually looked at the news on the 24th. It was like, wait, what the fuck is happening here? This is insane. And we had talked 20 days prior, and it was not necessarily on anybody's radar that this massive scale event was about yeah. to happen. Yeah, it is. And it's kind of, I guess, I guess like in a, in, in a certain sense, maybe, you know, a few past decades, they were like um, a little bit more kind of got people on this train that everything is kind of like okay and more or less and solved like all these kind of cra crazy things that you read about like you know genocide and inquisition that cannot be happening anymore it's like oh yes they can if you're if you if you fall asleep enough they will and that's you know i mean the 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 the, the russia has completely has fallen asleep i mean it's a zombie farm from hell you know it's a hell of a it's a hell of a zombie farm you know People love to walk around and go, oh, yeah, I read George Orwell, 1984, it's amazing, yeah. Oh, Huxley, brand new world, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, this is exactly what those dudes are talking about. That's what's going to fucking happen if you fall fucking asleep, you know. <clears throat> but yeah, if literature like that is suppressed, like as it is in Russia, you know, you get a full-on, um, you know, access to people's um, absolutely in... Um, uh, you know, in, into their brains, which are not very resilient. I mean, they've been schooled into yeah and propaganda beats you propaganda down for your entire by life hundreds of years, starting with Ivan the Terrible. You know, yeah. I mean, they're they're, they're bigots. They, they 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 disrespect the very simple things. Like they're talking about how how Ukraine uses their alphabet, and, and it's like, the, dude, the alphabet comes from fucking Bulgaria, you idiot. The alphabet was invented by Cyril and Methodius, two monks, two Greek monks from Thessaloniki, who were, you know, uh, petitioned to go to Bulgaria, to Plovdiv, and from then on it spread to Kievan Rus, which is Kievan Rus being the Ukraine, and when when Moscow didn't even exist, that's like hundreds of years after that, Moscow finally picked up Kievan alphabet because they were illiterate. So what the fuck, dude? You know what I mean? 
Yeah. It's like it's like how about like you know some countries just gonna start saying that they were the ones first who walk on the moon, you know? And you know what I mean? And yeah. and everybody in that country would be like, yeah, we did, you know? And be like, and you'd be sitting here like, fuck no, <laughs> no, we walked on the fucking moon. Yeah, it's like on that level of moronic idiocy, you know? You feel me? Yeah, yeah, I do, man. Well, thank you. I'm glad that uh, this is your attitude through this entire thing. It's always great to to talk with you and get uh, get your perspective on on what's happening. I mean, it's a fucking mess, and it's uh, it's always a pleasure to talk to you and get a little bit of insight into into how you feel about it. And uh, fuck them, man. It's a mess. It's terrible. But there's, I mean, there's music happening you're making that happen and there's there's a ton of uh of music coming up this weekend for new year's eve tonight you guys you're going straight to brooklyn bowl from here right now yeah we want to straight to soundcheck and yeah. yeah i mean i can't wait when till the victory and so we can uh, kind of get back to the to what we do best which is you know uh you know spread the spread the glory of the joy of being and you know, get all celebratory which is <laughs> Which is, if you look at the lineup of the New Year's Eve, which is the finale of this run, is it's uh, it's it, it it's a very it's a conceptual thing. It's you know it's Murphy's Law, which is national treasure of hardcore music, and I think it's an American national treasure. I mean, the amount of good times that that band has provided to people over the decades is is like. Yeah, it's it's a substantial, and it's a very kindred spirit in that way for Gogol Bordello, and so Murphy's Law, Jimmy G being such a you know, revered legend, and at the same time, you know, it's got a complete newbies who you just had earlier on, you know, Puzzle, Puzzle Panther. Panther. Puzzle Panther. You know, yeah. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, it's kind of going back to the idea that. That that, that 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 kind of punk rock community that's how it works you know you go to bauer electric sunday matinee and you meet that band and that band and then you talk on the sidewalk and two weeks later you head out on tour you know you kind of cut through the chase of uh, management and uh, and all decisions made right here and and that's beautiful you know it's how it should be you know so that's the lineup you know puzzle panther uh, Murphy's Law, Gogol Bordello, so it's going to be a beautiful night, you know. And uh, I suspect you, you want me to get back to the music. No, you, we, can, we can take this literally any direction you want. I don't know. I just did, I'm out of shit. I'm out of shit right yeah. now to say, so I think you're driving the bus on this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do one from the new album. Um, this one calls Focus, Focus Coin. And... Um, <laughs> It is uh, about all those things we talk about, how to not fall asleep behind the wheel of your own consciousness. Well, have you noticed? You just can't focus. If you can't focus, can you notice? They got you running, running on the fumes Through the city of a band, band alums. There ain't no way to verify But if I, if I, if I, if I, if I They got you rocking, rocking on the fumes Through the city of a dead, dead news Their only way to nullify Nullify, five, 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 five. Some are the peeling man, some are the crying. Perhaps some are the time, uh, some are the kind. You never get the feeling of all that very fine. And you lose on the prime, and you got only one spine. Side on the fire, and not a staying alive. But all of them are lying, all of the time. Yeah, it's true and tried. Lying, 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 lying. Secure 
everyone's looking Where else to join? The ones who all are looking them Collecting their focus coin They got them running, running on the fumes Through a city of banging pendulums Their only way to verify With all the good that they are all trying Some of them perhaps or some of them lying sometime it must be exhausting to so be so many demons hosting But I'll grind at the feet of the life I got only, only one spine And all of them are lying All of the time Lying, 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 lying All of them are lying Methodically, professionally On time, but all the time and all of them and all of the time. All of the time. Well, I had me a woman, but she moved forth. Ran off with my best friend. Now they're living at flat earth. Yeah, they got them running, running on the fumes In a city of a band, a band, a little city of a dead news And a city of a news And when all the good, all of the trying, perhaps some of the time Some of them lying, this must be exhausting So many demons be hosting, huh? And I, you got a feeling, all of so many trying all the summer that the summer I'm dying Trying not to stay in the light of the sun all the time in But Lying, 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 lying All of them are lying Methodically, professionally, all of the time, yeah True and tried. Eugene, thank you. It's always great to see you, man. Have yeah, a great man. show tonight. Have a great show on New Year's Eve. Have uh, every upcoming show. Please travel safe, and let's just keep doing this, man. I'll see you uh, um, six months or so. Yeah, it seems to be a, a fine American tradition. Now. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll check back in, man. I, I love it. I love everything about this, dude. Thank you. Yeah, thanks a lot, man. Thanks All for right. having me. See you next Respect. time. Boom. Yeah, you did it. Hell yeah. Thank you.